Hello. I am going to show you how to set up free trade quickly and easily on a Windows PC using the recommended Docker method. Take note that the manual recommends for the live production version you should use the Linux method, not the Windows Docker method. So what do we need? We need a few pieces of software. We need a code editor. I'm going to use Microsoft's VS Code. We need a programming framework. Everything's done in Python, so we're going to install Python. We need an image manager, which will take care of installing and running the FreakTrade image. And then eventually we will get the actual image from FreakTrade. So let's start with the easy bits, downloading and installing the software. Let's start by grabbing VS Code. I'd suggest that you create a new folder. Let's call it Free Trade. And inside there, let's have a, another new folder called Software, where we will keep all our downloaded software. We also need Python. Again, very straightforward. Just download it into your software folder. And finally, we also want Docker Desktop. Download Pro Windows. Now that everything's downloaded, we can go ahead and install the software. Take note that everything needs to be installed as this user, not admin system or anything else. So go over to your software folder and double click. Make sure add to path is ticked and off we go. Let's have a quick look at what we just installed. Visual Studio Code. In Explorer, let's set the project folder to Freak Trade. Verify that autosave is on. I like that. So that's uh, VS Code set up. Next, we'll sort out Python. So let's double click that, make sure you add Python to the path. Install now. That's Once it's installed, we're going to add a couple of extra bits. What you see might be different to what I have showing on my screen because I've already installed a few times. So right click. Windows PowerShell, there we go. You can just type in PY to see if this works. There we go, latest version. Control Z, enter will bring you back out of the Python interpreter. So what we're going to add is Python minus M kit install. We want to install Tip and make sure it's the latest upgrade it as well. Requirements are already satisfy this because I've already done it. Now also do pip install TA. We want some technical Want some technical indicators? We'll be needing these later. Uh, installing TA also includes pandas, which is a required component. <laughs> I 
And finally, Dawn HV plot. This is useful if you want to draw pretty graphs. And we're done with that. So we can close this. And finally, Docker Desktop. This one would take a few minutes. So, Matro WS L2 is on. We don't particularly need a desktop shortcut. So we'll wait for this to be done. It's worth noting at this point that if you want to update any of these three programs, VS Code and Docker Desktop, you can do from the software itself in the help menu, choose check for updates. Python, however, you will have to download and reinstall, just overwrite what you've already got. Very important at this point is to reboot. You'll end up with a lot of headaches if you don't reboot at this point. So when this is finished installing, I will reboot and continue. So everything is installed and we've restarted the computer. Let's continue with setting up the free trade image and grabbing a couple of files. So over in our free trade folder, let's add a new folder, call it FT user data. Shift right click and open PowerShell. Doesn't need to be that big. We want Docker desktop up and running. So let's switch that on. Uh, it should be empty. No images, no containers, that's good. Here's a little summary of what we need to do. Step one, we are going to grab the Docker Compose file. Step two, we're going to pull the Docker image. This will take a couple of minutes. Once we have the image, we will sort out the users and user permissions. And the last step is to create the default config file. Dry run, yes. I'm gonna go with all the defaults. Futures, no. Telegram, no. The API, yes. Default. And username and password is just gonna be FQ for this demonstration. Obviously use a better username and password. That's it. It's done. We can give it a test by typing in docker compose up. And if everything's worked, we should get a screen full of information where our config file has been read and things are up and running, which means that we can now open our browser Type in localhost 8080 and voila, it is up and running. Let's log in. Our first bot is simply called Freak Trade. The username and password is FQ. That appears to have worked. Let's go to dashboard. And we can see it in action.
I'm going to press that because I think it looks better. And there's lots of buttons to press and to investigate. That's it. It's done. It's up and running. Remember to turn everything off. The recommended method is to kill this. Get rid of the container and then close your browser. And if it's all worked according to plan in our Docker desktop, we will have the image and no containers. Have a good day.